Hey, welcome to Homemade Taste in a Tiny Space. Today we're gonna to be making these easy German chocolate coconut chew cookies. And it's from a box. Did I say it? Shh, from a box. Approximately makes about 28 cookies. Depending on the size of your cookie scooper that you use, you can make them bigger or as small as I did. I love these cookies. They're very delicious. I hope you try them. Our ingredients for today's recipe is one box of German chocolate cake mix, one cup of finely shredded coconut, one third cup of room temperature butter, one fourth cup of water and one egg. Our next step is to combine all these ingredients. It's so easy, it's just dump and stir. So I'm just gonna move these aside because you know I have a tiny kitchen. And then we're gonna add our one cup of coconut flakes our one third cup of room temperature butter, and then our one fourth cup of water. And our one egg. Easy as that. And then we're just going to mix this till thoroughly combined. Might take a little while. Maybe I will use my blender. So I got out my blender because it is a thick batter and I'm just going to mix it a little bit better with my blender. As you can hear. Oh, see how thick that is? Scrape it down. Hmm. Here is our batter. So our next step is going to be to get out our cookie sheet and start baking these delicious cookies. You'll want to remember to lightly grease your cookie sheet and our batter is ready. So I've got my cookie scooper here. So I'm just gonna scoop them out onto our baking sheet and you want to put them at least two inches apart. It might take a few times to get them out of there because you can see this is a thick batter. So we're just gonna fill this up. I love making these and giving them away as gifts at Christmas. They're so good. Okay, our cookies are ready to bake. We're gonna put them in our 375 degree preheated oven and we're gonna bake them for 10 to 12 minutes. at those beauties. I'm gonna let my cookies continue to cook on my cookie sheet for two more minutes before I remove them and put them on my cooling rack. And if you want to, you can um, make your cookies bigger also. Just scoop a little bit more so they're a bigger size. Whoops, didn't mean to flip you over. Mm. Like I said, I love these cookies, they're so good. Okay, again, I would just lightly let this cool down or if you have another baking sheet, make sure that you lightly grease it and then continue to drop your batter on and bake. 